everyone, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome all YouTube. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about shot cut and what I've learned so far, how I've been using it, and how you can use it to sort of make your videos a little bit more interesting. And let's get into it, shall we? First, with today's video is going to be how to clone a whole new meaning to raise talking to yourself by using this little method. And Shotcut is a free sort of video editing software and it's, it is sort of the best one I've found for ease of use and actually running seems to crash the least. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things but for me this is a good one. Let's get into the show. We're going to need two video timelines, foreground and your background. You can add videos from clicking here or you can click anywhere in the grey and add another video track. We need some videos to put in them tracks. Here's two that I prepared earlier. Have a look. This is me sitting down one in my PJs, rocking the good old PJs. Cup of tea. It's social media. Say hello, everyone. Hi. So we'll drop that on the first track. That's going to be us background. Then we want us foreground. Open is this one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one where I walk in, back into the room. We'll add that one onto the foreground. Now we need to find somewhere where I'm not in the shot on this one. Wait for the uh, dressing gown to stop shaking. And we'll clip it there. We'll delete this first bit because we no longer need it. We can drag it. We can just right click, remove, and that will bring that up. Now we'll hide that one and we'll display only this one. This one we need to find a point where I just sit down. So sit down, grab my tea, get comfortable, lovely. And again, we'll delete that first bit because we don't need it. Now, this one is in the point where no longer in the video. Need to find somewhere in this video. Where I'm just in the shot. Now I can see myself. It'd be no good trying to mask it without me actually in the picture. Let's find a frame where you can see yourself. And if you close this one, open that one, you can also see yourself in that. Now what I want to do, make sure both visible. The top bar is one we're going to be adding the mask to can search in the video selections or mask we can simply just type it in the top bar we want mass simple shape it's going to be a rectangle we're going to essentially go half the screen say the background in one half and the foreground in the other make it look as if there's two of me in the same room I see I've got a tiny little box or here that's starting to reveal the foreground I can actually change the size of that Make it larger, you can increase the width. Probably going to want this set. We'll start at 50, see what happens. That might have been a bit too much. As you can see, now we can see both of me. This one's sort of got a little bit of a blur to it, so we need to bring the line over this way. So that you can't sort of notice any blurring around any of the clips. This is probably most tricky, just make sure that you've got everything. We'll turn the softness off just while we play. This enables us to see the thick lines either side. And this will just enables us to position it a little bit easier. As you see when it's on, it's hard to tell. Both the pictures sort of blur into one. You can't tell which one you're moving. We'll bring the softness right down. And then from here we can adjust the size. And adjust the position to move it over. Don't want you that far. Not be able to see me. All right, let's have a look what this looks like.
see there's two of me we can see the line here in the door what we need to do is we're trying to bring that line over so it matches something in the room that's sort of similar like we can bring it down with the door line into the crease of the sofa see what it looks like from there what we'll actually do is I don't want the audio I'm going to detach the audio from these two clips it's a background noise with a little one off school doing a bit of home learning we've got rid of that noise but we still have this line we need to increase that line or decrease it a slight bit if we highlight it all you can use the arrow keys up and down you can adjust the line as you need it to be I'm just going to try and bring it down so it's a little bit closer in line with the door less visible on the eye I think that looks, that looks good it helps with the door having sort of bevels in it use that to hide the line but I see it's a bit lighter and a bit darker we can now bring the softness up to try and increase or decrease the thickness of that line and see we're just bringing it up using the up and down arrow keys and see the line sort of dispersing we don't want to disperse too much that the background falls, uh, seeps into the foreground We'll just slightly increase this and you see it's sort of almost gone gone distinctive tiny tiny little bit quite happy with that as it is Let's have a look as we walk in hello make cup of tea chilling out he's mad didn't make him one to make me earn let's see just there you see the difference as I get closer to the camera and I block the light off just there it becomes more distinct and you can see the split I think what we need to do in this one just as the light changes using left and right on the arrow keys right now to go through the frames just want to find a way it starts to peak it's the most darkest lovely PJs see there yeah there I'm happy with that and what we'll do is we'll, we'll split both of these just in case we do need to make any changements to either or I think if we just made changements to this one and add another filter brightness I've gone past it in alphabetical order right there look then what we can do here is we can add change the value of the brightness on the foreground past where I get in front of the camera it will increase it just once lighter and already that's a massive improvement that was just one scroll on the wheel up to 17% and that's massive improvement I'm quite happy with that we'll carry on then it gets a bit darker but then it goes back to normal and it's almost it's almost as if the shadow myself could live with that could add a few key points change it up so it goes in and back again that's generally not a bad transition between the two I think the line looks smooth it does go a little bit here and there if we can tidy that up a little bit actually that's not bad, it's not worth playing with, I'll probably mess it up more I see that's cloning that's talking to yourself in a whole new way it's a cool feature nice trick to be able to do especially for a reviewing channel for example I hope the video helps. Please like, subscribe if it did. Leave a comment. Maybe give me some hints and tips because I'm quite new to shot court and video editing. Uh, but we're trying to improve every day. And if I can help you guys improve as well, then that's a massive uh, thing I can do for you guys. <laughs> nice one. Ain't easy being cheesy, but you guys keep it fun. Stay tuned for the next one.
I hope you learned something. Till then, keep it cheesy.